Alright, y'all, so I am currently leaving in four hours. I gotta wake up in four hours for a plane. I hope you guys are enjoying these. What are these guys yelling about? They're interrupting my introduction with you guys. Are these guys a couple? Oh my god. I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. My husband and I, we shared the work. All okay. Right. All right. I understand him. Out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife. Or you All right. Run. Okay. I'll skin this fat old coon serving for dinner. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is the life we saved. Okay. Well, come with me then. You want to head out there? Run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Shit. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Adler are gonna take a little ride. Yeah. Sure. Here's my list. And can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, Princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? <laughs> All right, Lee. So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, like I was saying, I leave in four hours for a uh, for some. Pl I'm doing Bob's sort of stuff. I cannot speak today. I am tired. I'm telling you what. So I am currently waiting for my Assassin's Creed video to finish loading so I can publish it for you guys Saturday. Make sure you catch that. <sighs> God, they keep talking. Anyways, I'm gonna talk over them because they're just they're just nit chatting. Um, yeah, I leave for some bobsledding stuff. So I'm gonna I'm trying to record these games for you guys so you guys can see them while uh, I'm gone. So I hope you guys enjoy this, and I hope you guys enjoy this Assassin's Creed video I'm getting for you. Right, sit back, relax, enjoy. It. I love y'all. If you're new and you haven't already, please join the Wolf Pack. And if you haven't already, before you get too comfortable and forget and get lazy. Cause I know y'all do. If you wouldn't mind hitting that thumbs up button for me, give her a little ring a ding ding for me. All right, let's get to it. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you, it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> He ever actually even talked to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's oh, that? shit. They're dissing this guy hard. Oh, that. That's Dutch's idea. All male, except for St. Ailey's. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tassus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. Here, give me that bag. We got work to do. Okay, here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you... No, you and Shane. Well, I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. We rob fools and rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. No guns. You're sure? This time, it'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Well, Let's good go. morning, sir. God, this lady's gonna get me in trouble. Oh shit, I almost got kicked. Did y'all see that? Nothing. What do you mean, what do you mean nothing? I help 
help you, mister? Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. I am not paying my bounties, guys. Look how big these bounties are. Good morning to you. Uh, I'd like to pay my bounty. Three hundred and then a sixty dollar one. Yeah, no, I'm not paying those. No intentions of paying those. All right. Oops, sorry. Move. Head back on over here. What the hell is she wearing? The hell? I think this is everything. Thanks. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady. Get a move on. I like Sadie. Not lady. I know. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see? Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. All right, W. Down, chill out. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. That ain't my fault. What am I apologizing for? Well, hot damn. Just don't kill the camp cook. Please. Hey there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool, You Sadie. need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey! How's about this? Go, go, go! God damn it! Get moved! That was easy. Oh, shut up! I'm gonna run this son of a bitch down! What the hell? Oh my god, this lady is just... Yeah, I don't think anyone asked you to prove it, lady. I'll bring you back after I loot these guys. You guys don't need to see that.
those reins here. Why? Because you caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. Hey, you want me to drive? We showed those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. You did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But maybe not. Yeah. So who do they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbing Pearson about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled wisely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind of boggles. Not a chance. <laughs> Well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I, I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. That's shopping? Yes, that's shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe, <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> We got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants. Okay, y'all. Oh, shut up. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's figure out what we're doing next time. We got enough for another mission. We got time for another mission. Let's go to Dutch. <gasps> See what Dutch wants. Arthur. Nope. Mm -mm. Ain't doing it. All right, Dutch. What do you want? How you doing, old friend? <coughs> Fine. It's funny. Us in and up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. <laughs> See, I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's going to be casualties. We're thieves. In a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a crick around here. I reckon it's full of fish. Are you going fishing again? Show us this crick you've been pissing in. Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I got this warmer weather. With my days are looking good a long Dutch. <laughs> Always dream crushing and bumping. Go burst at you. Come on, Hosea. Let's go fishing. Come on, then.
Oh, we better not be walking at this pace the whole time. Alright, there we go. Passing you. Okay, go. Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was a us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again. Thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. But we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Are we gonna get stopped? I oh, know there's prisoners in there. Well, look what the cat drug is. Oh, I seem to have gotten myself in a spot. Bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh. At your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It is good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. Now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. Now, he is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh, I wouldn't do that if I were you! I, shit! I, the Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Oh, okay, so we're not fishing anymore. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go after that train! Do not shoot them, you hear me? Come on, hurry! All right! Come on, we're losing them! Oh my god, you know, your fat ass is on my horse! Master, come on! What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please! My neck is on the line here. I get it, I'm doing my best. Shit. So what are these fellas wanted for? Looks like the son of a bitch is gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No! Did I not say that? You said plenty! Look at you two fellas all cuddled up! Ha <laughs> ha! Ooh! That must have hurt me! <laughs> Oh my god, what are you doing? Really? You're gonna try fighting me? Ugh, 
too old for this. Alright, let's go. Really a hay bale? Knock my head off. Oh, where you going now, boy? He has a knife! Are you sure? Sadly so. Ooh. I don't think I can open the door from the outside. Ah. Ah. See some gin? Come on! Oh my god! Watch yourself, he's as dirty as they come! I'm blocking this shit, I'm blocking this shit! What the fuck is this? Hello? Is everything alright in there? Well, I don't think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Now oh, just a barrel. Bring him out here. Deputy. Uh, uh, open the door. Motion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. What now? Take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there and we'll take him to show Why him. my horse? There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have a Oh, uh, returning. Okay. Here. Awful people. Truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Alright, so in the town of Rhodes, I can't use guns or piss anyone off. Oh, yay. Alright. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Very little. Oh good, they're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay, we're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Sure, let me do everything. Let me do your job for you. Chop, chop. Don't just leave him slumped on there for the whole town to see. Okay, this way. Hey, fellas. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. 
Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Bo, these better be ugly rooms. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan on the edge of town. The what happened to fishing? Church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses falling out of rebel gold and marrying cousins or not marrying Arthur. That's Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here. And it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents. Some super agents. <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Might turn myself in. Shit ton of black gold bars for myself. Okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Alright guys, I'm gonna go fishing. I'm not gonna bring you along for that, because that's boring as hell. Think too high. Um, but... Sure. If you guys wouldn't mind smashing that thumbs up button for me, that's going to have to do it for us today. If you like the video, like I said, smash that thumbs up button. If you are new and you haven't already, please subscribe. Peace out, y'all.